all are heavily dependent on uh, foreigners uh, as well for a sizable stake, but you know, of course, there's a lo local component to it. Uh, how important is that coming back to you all right now? Or do you think the local market is sufficient enough for you all to continue with whatever you all are doing? Right? You see, uh, before 2019, if you look at after the war, you see, venues opened up, for example, like with the Dutch hospital. Right, and that time tourism was really peaking, you know. And uh, you hardly saw locals there. It was just for you, know, you, you stand there in that courtyard, you think, are you really in Sri Lanka? <laughs> because there were so many foreigners coming into the country, you see. So we are, as a restaurant, we are obviously dependent on, uh, on, on the foreign travel. Not forgetting the locals as well. I mean, the locals, like Shiromal said, have been supporting us over the last 30, 40 years, you know, with all the problems we have had. But you see, the Sri Lanka Tourism Authority really needs to open up and do a real drive now, a marketing campaign. Uh, and how are you going to bring people here? Yes, we are very dependent on the tourism for our growth. And I think uh, the country needs to relax their laws as well. I mean, they have like, very, like very old-time stupid laws where you can't have a beer after exactly. 2 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. You bring out, we have had instances where foreigners are I've been in, they're having lunch and say, can I have a beer after that? I'm sorry, we can't serve. And they look at us like, are we wrong or something? So, you know, the whole thing has to change. The mentality. The mentality has to change. The whole system has to change. The rules have to change. You know, after 11 o'clock, you can't have a bow. But I mean, you go to Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, you go anywhere in the world. What do people do? They step out after 6 o'clock, right? And they are exploding restaurants. So we need to get into that situation where you say you come to Sri Lanka, like you said, we have so much to offer, you know, from golf to wildlife, you name it, we have it. Yes, we have a good culinary journey, we can improve on that, you know, and we need to invite more people to come and set up restaurants here, open up more venues, make that happen, you know, and uh, Sri Lanka, the tourism needs to think positively on these what I said, mentioning on let's, the laws and stuff of that nature. You know? Let's talk about after the, uh, you know, if there is after the pandemic or even during the pandemic. Now, <coughs> you may have to tweak your business right now in order to cater to that kind of a concern by the consumer uh, because they don't want to uh, be doing the same way they were doing. They may, might be concerned about whether, will I get COVID or not. So if that is the case, you know, how, how can you tweak that? You see, it's very simple. What we are trying to set out here, if you don't have a vaccination, then don't come into our restaurant. It's very simple, you know, it's like you go into a hotel, you have to give your ID card, this, this, this. So what we are trying to set out here in most countries, they're already doing it, is that if you're not vaccinated, then don't come in. Two things that, you know, actually encouraging people to go and get vaccinated. So as a hospitality industry, if we set that bar, yes, I know there are certain foreigners who don't like to get vaccinated. So you might have that scenario coming into the country, people might not like that. Yeah. But if you said it in a local in a local fashion, already you have people, the locals call in and ask us, are you allowing people who are not vaccinated to come into your restaurants? Mm. Concerns. So so what we are trying to establish is please be please bring your vaccination card and come because it's safe for all. And we are also wearing badges now saying we are fully vaccinated. Staff, everyone. So the customers coming into our restaurants will also be comfortable knowing that they are fully vaccinated. So so those are things which we have to which we have to work on. And is it something that the government should be coming in force and saying, you know, this is the rule? Or do you think it should come from the industry itself and say self-regulation here? I think the rules, I mean, I mean, we can't just set out rules, but at least as the hospitality industry, if you set a precedent saying, this is what we are looking at. I mean, you can, you can always have a customer saying, where, where, is, it, where is it? Show yeah. us the rule on this, you know. But it's, it's prerogative of the customer, of the management to say, no, we are not allowing you in, you know. So obviously you'll have you'll have little tweaks on that kind of thing, but I think we need to set that out.